Yo, what's up, everybody? It's man. Bring y'all another commentary of Gears of War 2. Uh, this is the NX match. And uh, I'm hosting this match. It's the only match I got hosting. And since I'm host, I figured I'd take this video and talk about a few things that I've been wanting to address and let y'all know how I feel since this is sort of my audience so they can get my views on certain things. But uh, you see I'm still rolling with the same squad that I was rolling it with in the previous match that I posted the uh, Soul Loser Series Game 25 match. And uh, forgot to, I don't know if I forgot to tell y'all Happy Thanksgiving or whatnot, but I hope y'all all y'all had a good Thanksgiving. I know I did. I had a, a hell of a time. I'm still recuperating right now as I'm doing this commentary. Been laying down all day. <clears throat> but... Um, what I want to talk about is, you know, this this situation with Cam Newton. A lot of y'all might not watch for I really don't watch college football because I think it sucks. But this situation with Cam Newton about how uh, he, uh, his daddy or somebody supposed that took off for money or, or something. I don't know. It's about uh, how his dad wanted one hundred and eighty thousand dollars for his, his son to go to a certain college or whatnot. And my thing is this, NCAA, don't you think it's about time to start paying these college athletes? And uh, before anybody says, well, they get a free education, I don't want to hear anything about that free education. I had a cousin, my cousin, uh, a D1, he played D1 basketball, Jermaine Wallace. He hit that shot for Northwestern when they beat Iowa in the uh, tournament, I think it was 06. Um, it was 06, yeah, but that's the one that hit the shot. Anyway, so I know when I was and I was in his dorm, I, I stayed in his dorm room with him. So I know a little bit about what goes on in college sports, <clears throat> especially at D1 level. Now you can say you get they getting the free education, whatnot, and they are. But the fact of the matter is, is this: they have to. There, there are only so many hours that a, a co head coach can mandate as practice hours because the NCAA doesn't allow that. But but what a lot of people don't know or what they want to hide from everybody is uh, the the co the coaches they they give voluntary practices, quote unquote. But if you don't show up for voluntary practice, you don't play. So it's not voluntary. And the only reason they have to say it's voluntary, they're getting told by NCAA if they say it's it's a uh, mandated practice. Because I think it's only what 19, 20 hours that they can give for mandated practice hours a week in the NCAA, and the rest have to be voluntary. So basically, if you don't if you don't show up to voluntary practice, you don't play. So the fact of the matter is, you're gonna have to get your schedule set to where you can go to pra uh, voluntary practice. Because if you don't, you don't play, and if you don't play, you lose your scholarship. So you're not gonna be able. To, most people ain't able to major in uh, what they want to major in. They can only major in uh, like certain, certain, uh, certain fields. That's why you see a lot of these college athletes majoring in uh, general studies or some other bullshit. That's not gonna even help them after they get out of school. One, two. I took three point blanks to kill that dude. I missed the other two shots. But uh, anyway, that's why you see a lot of college athletes majoring in uh, and they major in bullshit that ain't even helping them when they get out of school. It's, it's a few exceptions, but what they need to start doing is, if they're not gonna pay athletes, then they need to major in fields that gonna you know, give them some benefit when they don't make it to the pros. Because the fact of the matter is, about ninety five percent of our uh, Probably more than that, but at least 95% of college athletes, they don't go pro in, the, in that particular sport. They have to go do something else. But what I'm saying is schools like uh, Texas, LSU, USC, uh, Alabama, Florida, Florida State, all those schools generate between $150 million and $300 million a year in revenue in the football program alone. And uh, you got schools like North Carolina, Duke. Uh, UCLA, um, 
a few more big time college basketball programs, Kentucky, they generate about a hundred million dollars worth of revenue from like schools and, and alumni and whatnot. So what I'm saying is this, if your school can afford all colleges should pay something. You go to a D2 school or D a D1 AA. If they have to give you five hundred dollars from us, they're still paying you something. I'm saying is this, these uh school these these college athletes at these big time programs like Texas or USC talking about football that generate 300 350 million dollars a year they can easily pay all their scholarship um, athletes 30 or 40 thousand dollars a year because I think there's only what 55 60 scholarships that you can give out and if you are uh, uh, I think it's 55 or 60 between, uh, that the NCAA can give out. And if you're a scholarship athlete, you should get, I say, between 30 and 40, probably $50,000. Because if you give, if it's 60 people that gets a uh, uh, college scholarship, if it's 60 people, and you're paying them $50,000 a year, well, that's only $3 million. Out of $300 million you'd have made, that's only $3 million in salaries that you can pay. A lot of those kids, their parents combined don't make fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I was fortunate when I came up. My dad, my daddy, uh, I I wasn't worried about this stuff. My dad make over eighty thousand dollars a year by himself, and my mom makes over fifty when I was coming up. So, you know, I wasn't in a lot of the circumstances that these kids are. But it's a lot of kids that mama might make fifteen, daddy might make twenty. So if you're giving them fifty thousand dollars a year, they making more than their parents combined. The parents don't have to struggle and try to uh, give them money to, you know, eat off with. And they want you then. If you're paying them, you won't have to worry about uh, agents giving these uh, players money or boosters giving them money and then getting them caught up. You won't have to worry about situations like Reggie Bush's and uh, Cam Newton's. And there's plenty more than that. You know, these just the ones that's been caught recently. Stephon Marbury here said he's been getting paid to play back. He's been getting paid. Uh, since he was like 10th grade in high school, people have been play, paying him. So it happens, especially in, uh, in in high school basketball. They pay you because you know before this bullshit ass rule that you can come out straight out of high school. Um, they was they they had a bad habit of uh, paying paying um, high school basketball players. I think LeBron got in trouble for accepting the jersey. You know, all he did was accept. Uh, I can't think of who the dude was. But he accepted that jersey, and he got suspended for like a week, and then they finally cleared him while he was in high school. And they, uh, they tried to get him, uh, they tried to get him for, you know, his mama getting that loan, and he got that hummer from his mom, and uh, she said her son was going to pay it back, and they tried to uh, get him for that, because she said her son was going to pay it back whenever uh, he went to the NBA. You know, they have all these little bullshit violations that it can be easily solved if, uh, the, if you start paying these college athletes, now, I know LeBron didn't go to college, but uh, I don't see how you can punish him for something his mama did. You know, that's why I don't think Cam Newton gonna get in, in trouble because they, they can't punish him for something that his daddy did. But what just needs to happen is these big time programs, any every program, and then you have people saying, well, it won't be fair to the people in the lacrosse program or the hockey program well hockey and lacrosse aren't generating the money that uh football and basketball generate i'm not saying don't pay them i'm saying that it just ain't fair that's just like saying hockey players in the nhl they don't make as much money as football players or basketball players or baseball players because they don't generate as much money you you get paid by what you generate you don't get paid because it's fair you get paid by what people are gonna watch so that ends that discussion right there. I mean, this this is not fair. What's, what would be fair is paying everybody something. Everybody's not going to get the equal thing. If I go to school like where I am now, I'm in pre-pharmacy biology. And when I go to pharmacy school, I'm going to be a pharmacist. Well, the, the pharmacy techs that are going to end up working under me, they're going to be able went to school too. But what they're going to say is not fair that they, uh, they went to school as well and they should get the same thing. No. <laughs> so that argument doesn't make sense. It's not going to be fair. 
what's going to be what's fair is paying everybody something and the, the, the programs that generate the most money they make the most money i.e football and basketball and i just want to uh touch on this a little later i mean uh, I'm a, i might touch on this in another video because i've been meaning to say this when is the nba going to stop this bullshit as uh high school rule? i got i, I said like this if you want to go if you think you can go straight from the nba to the league then do it but if you go to college you should be mandated to go there for three years just in case something happens to you you get in three years you can get an education and uh get an education is something that's gonna do it. Don't major in no general studies. Go to fucking computer science or something. Because if you didn't know this or not, we're in the age of computer. And the more you know about them, the more you're going to get paid. But anyway, before this video ends, the NBA uh, got this little rule. And, uh, well, I really won't have time enough to touch anybody. I just want to, uh, really, they need to go back to high school, straight out of high school, because they're being hypocrites. You got LeBron, Kobe, Kevin Garnett. Um, who else? Man, so many, so many players right now that came straight out of high school that are the marquee players in the league. But you want to uh, say to kids that that you don't want you want kids to go to school for one year, and then all you're doing is ruining that college's uh, graduation rate because one year they still going straight to the league after one year. Look at John Wall. You think he was gonna stay at Kentucky for for four years for what? He should have been in the NBA last year. But anyway, I'll touch on that in uh, probably in the next video or video after this one. It's been the um, it's been man. I get it, y'all later. Peace.